Power 5, back on Monday. In addition to the normal five free winners I've got for today, I'll be letting you know how you can get four full days of my premium selections free of charge. Hang on for that, but first, let us get into the Power 5 today. Uh, as a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you are in agreement with me on these. Number one is the Astros, first Five money line versus the Rays. You should be able to get this around minus 130. This boils down to me wanting to put my money on Houston starter Framber Valdez. Team is 8 0 his last eight starts. Valdez has allowed two earned runs or less, four of the last five. Very nearly delivered a no hitter last time out. Was one out away from doing so when he allowed a two run homer. I think Valdez clearly the better starter in today's matchup opposite Taj Bradley who has given up nine runs total his last two starts. You also need to consider... The fact these look to be two teams heading in opposite directions for the stretch run. The Astros, they've won five in a row after sweeping the Red Sox in Boston. The Rays, even after winning Sunday, that was just to avoid a sweep at home against Baltimore. They've dropped four of six. I think they're very lucky to be a game over 500, given a minus 49 year-to-date run differential. To me, the actions of the front office at the trade deadline, that signaled the proverbial waving of the white flag in Tampa. So I'm on the Astros' first five money line here with Valdez on the mound. Number two, Red Sox team total under four and a half. As I just mentioned, the Sox were swept at home over the weekend by the Astros. Now they welcome in another team from the Lone Star State. That would be the world champion Rangers. Boston has not scored more than four runs, guys, in any of its last four games. They average fewer runs here at Fenway than they do on the road. We've noted that many times on the Power Five. Starting for Texas on Monday is going to be Tyler Molly. Uh, his second start back from injury. Quite frankly, I like what I saw in the first. He allowed just one run on five hits in five innings against Houston. His only problem was that he was going against Valdez, who, as I just talked about, flirted with the no-no. Don't see the Red Sox scoring many runs today. So under the team total, four and a half for them. Number three, how about a team I'd like to score some runs on Monday? That would be Minnesota over its team total of four and a half. This is plus money right now. Tough end of the weekend for the Twins. They swept the doubleheader from Cleveland on Friday, but then they lose a couple close ones Saturday and Sunday. Now they face a rested Kansas City team that had Sunday off, but I am confident the Twins can put runs on the board here. Royal starter Brady Singer, there's a pretty big difference for him between his actual ERA and his expected ERA. His actual ERA sits at 3.03, but his expected ERA more than a, a run and a half higher at 4.57. Singer allowed four runs and five and two-thirds last time out. Honestly, it could have been more given he allowed 10 hits. I'm also not in love with that Royals bullpen that we saw blow a game on Friday. Twins are the fourth highest scoring home team in all of baseball, 5.02 runs per game. Thought they were a little unlucky to only score three runs yesterday, given they had 11 hits. Bottom of the ninth inning, they had the bases loaded with nobody out. Could not get anybody home. I think the Twins, despite the rest disadvantage, they're going to push some guys across the plate tonight. So over their team total of four and a half. Number four, Dodgers Brewers under eight. It's actually open eight and a half. May surprise some of you that I'm looking under here because Clayton Kershaw's on the bump for the Dodgers. I faded him before. Uh, and he has not looked all that good since returning from injury. But I think it was the best he'd looked his last time out. He allowed just one run on five hits against a good Phillies lineup. So signs of improvement there. Milwaukee has scored just four runs the last two days. So not exactly hitting the cover off the ball. And those games were here at home. Uh, Freddie Peralta starting for the Brew Crew. He did get roughed up a bit his last time out. But keep in mind, that was his second straight start facing the same team, Atlanta. So not a great matchup. Peralta rarely has back-to-back -back subpar outings. We've got two outstanding bullpens here as well. So as long as neither starter blows up, and I don't think either will, under eight is the way to go in this battle of NL division leaders. I'm going to close out today, number five here in the Power Five, uh, with another football future for you, and that will be the Chiefs and Chargers to finish top two in the AFC West. I am shocked that this is available minus 125 at DraftKings, and it doesn't matter who finishes first and who finishes second. Either order it's a winner. We just need the Chiefs and Chargers to be the top two in the AFC West. Look, the Chiefs have won the AFC West eight consecutive years. They're minus 230 to do so again in 2024. The idea that they're going to finish outside the top two, I don't even think should be entertained. Then you've got the Chargers, who should be one of the most improved teams in the league simply based on a massive upgrade at head coach from Brandon Staley to Jim Harbaugh. I don't think there's been a bigger head coaching upgrade in recent years in the NFL. I, I couldn't even think of the last time. 
Part of me wants to compare it to uh, when Jacksonville rid itself of Urban Meyer, who was stealing a paycheck, and then brought in Doug Peterson. You saw the massive upgrade that occurred with them that first year. It's just a big difference with Harbaugh running the ship instead of Staley. I know quarterback Justin Herbert is hurt right now, but by season end, he and his team are going to be fine. Remember, Harbaugh's gone to conference championships and Super Bowls with the likes of Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick. Here, he's inheriting what I believe is a top five quarterback in the league. I certainly like the Chargers more than I do the Raiders and Broncos. The Broncos are going to be one of the worst teams in the league. As for the Raiders, I'm not sure I'm a big believer long-term in Antonio Pierce as the head coach there. So it's going to be Chiefs and Chargers, either order, finishing top two in the AFC West. That's only minus 125 at DraftKings. Check that out on the Division Specials tab. Let's now recap the Power Five for today, shall we? Number one, Astros' first five money line versus the Rays. Two, Red Sox team total under four and a half versus Texas. Three, Minnesota over its team total four and a half uh, against Kansas City. Four, Dodgers Brewers under eight. That's a full game total. Number five, Chiefs and Chargers to finish one and two, either order in the AFC West. You can let me think, uh, you can let me know what you think of those selections, pardon me, uh, by commenting down below. Always love to see your feedback here on the Power Five. I uh, also want to let you know, I teased it at the open. This is, uh, I know many of you are probably interested, uh, waiting with bated breath. About the new special offer we've got going on at Wager Talk, you get seven days of service for the price of three with this special offer. That's right. For just $69, you can get the next seven days worth of plays. That includes the start of the Premier League season. Uh, normally, a seven-day pass costs $99, so this is an instant $30 savings, and you're basically getting four days worth of plays free of charge. I mentioned soccer just a moment ago. Through the Euro Cup and Copa America, 33 14-2 and two run on the pitch by yours truly. So I'm very excited to get back in the domestic leagues starting this weekend. If you're not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click the bell. You get instant alerts when this show drops. Of course, I do the morning wager every Monday through Friday with my good buddy Mark Zinno. A look for that. I'll also be on Wager Talk today with Teddy and Prez, noon Eastern. Go to wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage of that special offer one more time. Seven days for the price of three. And you, I'll have a best bet here on Monday as well. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.